So I ask the head of foreign service for the EU, Mr. Sanino, whether Russia takes the EU seriously. This is a choice uh, that they have made, but it would run contrary to their own interest in the sense that they uh, are dreaming of a multipolar war, which is done by the United States, Russia and China. And unfortunately, the world is more complex with that. So the problem is not us. The problem is that Russia is a little bit looking back around the uh, end of the 19th century, beginning of the 20th, maybe, uh, rather than look at the contemporary world and what it is the European Union today. All parties have been very clear in saying that there is no discussion on the security of Europe without the Europeans. So it's, um, I think that once again we should avoid buying a narrative which is being developed on purpose. When it comes to the European perspective, there's also a question mark about sanctions. What will the EU do in case of further aggression from Russia to Ukraine? And so I asked Mr. Sanino as well when we can expect that detail. Sanctions, it's something that, uh, how to say, is very uh, important to have uh, in the drawer and to uh, put on the table when the moment comes. And I think that uh, uh, the moment has not yet come for this to happen. As uh, I said, we are still thinking that there is a space for uh, uh, dialogue and uh, for diplomacy. Um, uh, the Secretary of State uh, uh, Blinken uh, is meeting Minister Lavrov uh, uh, later this week. Uh, Blinken will be with the uh, uh, ministers of the European Union on Monday. Uh, there are a number of, uh, uh, let's say, still uh, uh, rendezvous of meetings which are relevant from that point of view. Uh, the German foreign minister was in Moscow uh, uh, yesterday. So uh, there is still a lot of activity going on in order to avoid a uh, derailing of, uh, uh, of the process. Um, so I think that the time of, let's say, putting sanctions on the table is not there. This is now the time for working quietly and is what we are doing, getting ready for that in case it's needed. And in that case, we are expecting that discussion to continue in the Foreign Affairs Council on Monday. Do you think that moment will be the time when the EU can, at least among the countries, put together some detail on those potential sanctions, or is it still too early? I think that I would say you need to distinguish between the uh, technical preparatory work which is being done and that is uh, um, going very well on which we are, uh, uh, let's say, uh, external action service commission. Uh, we are working very closely in order to uh, um, uh, prepare this package. And then the moment when, uh, uh, and again, we still hope that is not going to be the case. Huh? We still hope that uh, um, this can uh, have a different solution. But if it's not only the case, we will be ready to put on the table a credible and substantial package. It's also unclear at this moment what could trigger the sanctions. What does the EU need to see in order to implement san new sanctions against Russia? Well, I think that, uh, uh, and again, uh, uh, it's a question of uh, political appreciation and it's difficult to do a sort of in vitro exercise, to do it, to make a sort of decision uh, um, a cold uh, mind. So you have to see which is the evolution of the situation on the ground. But I think that uh, certainly any kind of uh, uh, military presence on the ground or any kind of effort to uh, uh, generate a destabilization of uh, Ukraine would entail a very strong response by the uh, European Union and by the, uh, oh, once, once again, by the West, United States, UK, Canada and other like-minded countries.